Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another one of my vacuum demonstrations and uh, reviews and uh, on this occasion we'll be talking about another Miele. Yes, it's one of my favourite brands and uh, this machine is the S8 model that uh, currently is the top of the range uh, Miele cylinders. This was the replacement for the S5 machine. Um, these came into circulation a couple of years ago now. And uh, this particular model is the it's yes uh, 8579. Hang on, I'll have to uh, have a quick check on the back here. It's one of these strange model numbers. Yes, it's the S8730. Um, this is uh, an odd model that uh, doesn't appear on the Miele website any longer. It uh, appears to have been discontinued in this country, which is rather a shame because uh, it has some rather good features that uh, none of the S8 range have anymore. I uh, picked this up uh, direct from Miele's website uh, when they were selling them off as um, limited stock offer and uh, to look at it it looks just like the base model 8310 but in fact this is the next step down from the unique model this is actually a very high-end S8 um, the cleaner has currently um, a remote control handle which uh, it's the only model this handle features on in the UK. I mean, the Americans get these. I think they get them in Germany as well. But the, the facility to be able to control the machine from the handle is uh, something that I like a lot. And for some reason, Miele just seems to be going backwards now in offering simpler and simpler machines without any of the toys. And this machine, it has all the toys. So those of you that like gadgets, this is the machine to get. This is the cream of the crop. Um, so if we start by looking at the handle in detail first, to remove it from the side of the machine, what we can see is that uh, it has comfort grip, which no other Miele S8 now offers. I think the only one that does is the Unique, but that doesn't have the controls on the front, it just has a light. Um, the controls on this one, if we just uh, remove the forehead for a bit, and come up closer to the camera, it has the plus minus which is uh, suction increase and decrease and the power on and off button so effectively when you turn it on at the mains and press the on off switch it goes into standby and uh, then it's at the control of the handle grip now this is not an electric hose you can take that off and replace the handle as and when you need so if the handle wears out it's a standard radio control um, it's, it, basically it, it has a small battery in here uh, and works like um, radio control so if the battery runs down your handle won't work basically so uh, you have to keep the battery in good nick. The hose simply plugs into the back so what we're saying here is they, these are actually more reliable than the old revolution models that went out in that the fact that the, the revolution models were electrified hoses and uh, they had on the end of the hose a series of copper slip rings and contacts which would go in here and have contacts in the handle there and over time that would build up a load of dirt all over those slip rings and it would cause the uh, floor head to keep cutting out in use. Uh, what would happen is you'd be going along merrily and all of a sudden the machine had just cut off and that was due to the contacts breaking inside here. So what uh, Miel have decided to do on this one is to get rid of all that, have a standard hose and use a radio control, remote control instead. 
which I think is a lot better of an idea. As it also means that the hose swivels properly at both ends as well. And it's not quite so unwieldy. I mean, I've got an S5 revolution upstairs, and when I got that it was faulty and I had to repair and clean all the slip rings up to get it to work properly. So, if we take the hose off, again, it's very lightweight altogether, the hose. The unit itself, if I bring it up close, what we can see on here is that it has the uh, top of the line control panel. Um, this features a lot more detail than the standard S8 that's currently offered. This has um, the auto suction setting which is featured on the unique model. In other words, it automatically selects a suction for you based on the floor type. You've got the, uh, the six settings as usual that you get on the standard S8. It has the standby light here which when you plug it in that light comes on to say there's power going through obviously you've got to press this button here to turn it on it has a filter replacement warning light that comes on every 50 hours to let you know that the HEPA filter will need replacing it also has the an overheat light in here which comes on and glows red like a red triangle if the machine gets too hot and cuts out this picture of a hand on here Basically that is an override button, so that if the batteries in the remote control on the handset go, you can always turn the machine on manually. Because what you notice with this is that it does not have the plus and minus buttons. That is a considerable difference to the other models in the S. Even the, uh, the unique model has the plus and minus buttons here. This does not, because everything is solely controlled from the remote control handle. So that is what makes this considerably different to the 8310, which this actually looks like. Okay, one of the other features of this machine is that uh, it, it has a parking slot in the back that also, when you slip the floor head in, has a little micro switch in here that uh, turns the machine off and you park the floor head in the back. That is another feature that only the Unique has. And when you remove it again, it comes back on again. Again, another feature that this machine has, that the Unique also has, and I believe some of the silent solution models also have this, is uh, dynamic drive casters. Now these have got proper inflated rubber tyres and slight amount of suspension on. You know, it's got a rubber suspension inside here, which means as you're bumping it over thresholds, they don't clatter around as much as a standard casters would. So that's the dynamic drive system. The rating plate here, saying it was made in 2012, so it's one of the early models. They say it came out in 2012. And you turn it round here, and you've got the cable here. It has a comfort rewind which means that uh, when you pull the cable out, like this, then it has seven and a half metres of cable, this model. One tap on that comfort rewind button. Rewinds the whole cable. Now that feature is also found on the uh, S6 model which I've also demonstrated on my channel. Inside you have the standard tools that you get with most meter cleaners nowadays, which is the standard dusting brush, which is a proper bristle brush. It's got the standard upholstery tool and a stumpy crevice tool. Again, not really much good for nothing that, but they can't give you anything bigger because it wouldn't fit in top of the machine. Now what I like about this machine, just like the S5, is that all the tools fit nicely inside the top of the machine. 
and it's positive action click cover that you just press that button and it comes up, clicks down again. Very good quality. In size, when you open the top, this machine uses the GN type bags with the blue collar and they come in these type of boxes here, the Miele High Clean bags. Again, it's a nine layer filtration system on these bags, which means what goes in stays in and you don't get dust leaking through like you do on cheaper bags. So basically, throughout the life of the cleaner, this compartment will stay relatively clean in here. You've got at the back, pre-motor filter, which has a standard filter there in case the bag ever do burst, but I doubt they ever will because they're fantastic quality. That fits in here, check the motor. It has the full HEPA filtration, again it's easy to change, just remove it like so. With this one, this is the older style HEPA filter which contains a small amount of carbon in here to uh, eliminate odours from the bag, although I don't think it's that effective on these because there's not really enough carbon in. And on the more modern versions of this, the current versions of the HEPA filter, they do not have a carbon layer underneath. It's just solely a paper pleated filter. And they also have, the more modern ones, the time strip on here as well, which tells you when it needs replacing after 50 hours use. So that fits nicely in there. I think, let me just uh, look in the top cupboard here. What you can also do, if you don't want to be spending out on HEPA filters for these, is you can buy, this is especially for the S8, these filters are what come here as exhaust filters with the high clean bags. Basically you get four bags in here and you get an exhaust filter and you get a motor filter. Okay. Now on the HEPA machines, this is classified as a HEPA machine, this is the filter it came with, but if you didn't want to be spending £20 every 50 hours use on a HEPA filter, then what you can do is you can uh, obtain one of these from Miele, which is the standard filter grill. I've just put that in here now, haven't I? <laughs> Actually need that back out. But basically, yeah, you uh, get the filter grill, and then you can put your fil filter inside here, that comes with the bags, close it up, like that. Um, I I'm sure, yes, that's right, you can uh, do that, and then that will go in there as such and you won't have to keep on buying HEPA filters. Very simple. But for the purposes of this machine, I believe in it with the filter it came with, is the HEPA filter. But that is a solution that you can use if you don't want to be buying these all the while. Because you have to replace those after every 50 hours use. And on this machine, the little light comes on to tell you that it needs replacing. Okay. So it's a similar sort of style as the S6 that I've already demoed. It takes the same type of high clean bags, except these are a one litre bigger, these are four and a half litres in capacity. And that just closes down like so. Right. Now the floor head this machine came with was this floor head here. This is the standard Miele floor head, the uh, Alltech. This has the twin positions, one for carpet and one for hard floors. And uh, the hard floor brush comes down there, front and rear, the twin litter pickers. Okay, that's your basic floor head with a roller on the back, very good quality. What you can also use is the Miele turbo head. These heads I'm showing you here can all be purchased from Miele. Okay, they're all varying prices. This one came with my S6220 machine. It's the cat and dog head, and it's a fantastic head, which I've talked about 
on the S62 20 review that basically you can use that with this machine which makes it a lot better on carpets than uh, having a standard head. Again, the S8, the S5, the S4, all the, the canister cleaners use the same click fit into the wand, the telescopic wand, same on each model. The only one that doesn't get this is the S2, the bottom of the range, the S2111. That has fixed rods that you have to take apart on that. So that's essentially that one there. Now this one is rather an odd head, this one. This, this is what came on the, the 8330 Medicare. Uh, this is what they call the Allergotech head. Now this is a standard type floor head underneath, same as that one there, like the Alltech. What this has is a sensor inside here, like a dirt sensor, and it will operate a traffic light system on the top of here. Now it uses two batteries which go inside there. You take the cover off, like so. So the two batteries that work that. This again, no mealers now in this range you're using an electric hose. Everything depends on batteries. That battery cover then clicks back on. Mealers say that if you're using this regularly, you have to replace these batteries uh, ooh, once every year or so. Um, it'll start flashing on the top when, it's, when the batteries are low anyway. And I'll be demoing this a little bit later on because I think this is rather a, uh, a nifty little head. So, let's uh, plug the machine in. Now I've described all the features of the unit here. We'll uh, see what it sounds like in use. Well, first of all, we'll pull out all the cable and set it up ready to go. Okay. So now that's plugged in. Plug the hose in. Incidentally, on the front here, you've got a uh, bag full indicator, which is basically the same as all the other mealers. It's a vacuum gauge that measures the amount of vacuum inside the bag housing. So, uh, the more back pressure is developed in there, the higher that gauge will go across, and uh, obviously, it, they're not terribly reliable as bag full indicators. So, connect the hose to the rod, and then what we'll do, we'll stick on the allerge tech head. Okay. Now, when you turn the machine on at the mains, and then press the on button, you get the standby light come on. Okay? So when we press the control on here, saying on, and okay, the machine comes on at the uh, control of the remote handsets. And you can go down to minimum, okay, on that handset, and then we can take it up. automatic. So what that's doing now, that's sensing the amount of back pressure in the floor head and adjusting the suction so that you haven't got too much back pressure inside the unit so it makes it easier to push along, which is particularly useful when you're using that type of floor head. Okay. I just stand it up, extend the rod, and what we can see on this floor head, 
that looks like it's working. Turn that down again. A little bit quieter when it's turned down, you'll get a green light coming on, which is basically three green LEDs inside there. Um, all the time the machine switched on, an airflow is going through here, those will be on. As soon as you discontinue the airflow, it turns off automatically. It has a sensor inside that can detect the airflow to save the batteries. So once that's on, again, the green lights will come on. So what we can do is try and move the machine over here. How well you can see that on the camera, I don't know at the moment, but uh, if we step up the power, you see it change colour there. It changes very rapidly. And again, it went red there. But basically these carpets are cleaned every day, so it, won't pick up that much. So what we'll do, switch the machine off, and notice that when it's off, again the light goes out, and we'll sprinkle some salt down on the carpet. Very fine salt granules. Just like so. And uh, we'll see if we can pick those up. Here we go. Let's turn it on again. And uh, what it has, you have a three stage light system on there, which is basically green, amber, or red. Now, red is for the most dirty carpets, but it's uh, detecting the most particles of dirt. Amber is the step in between. Now, let's see what it does. So all the area where the salt is, that is coming up red. So if we uh, turn the power up slightly, and basically we have to keep going over this spot over again until that light stays on green. As it's now deep cleaning that pile and pulling that salt out, it stays on green much more each time. Any spots that I've missed, or there's can't that the salt still there, it will still sense that. But it's bringing on the amber light, but not the red. So you can see now it's pretty much staying on green most of the time saying that most of that salt now has been pretty much pulled up. Okay. We turn the machine off just like so. And I think uh, that's a quite a useful head, but uh, I don't really use it very often because my carpets are always so clean that uh, that would stay on green most of the time. Plus the fact it's not a turbo brush and I do prefer a turbo brush on the carpets because whilst that's good on getting the small particles of dust out, they're not that brilliant on pet airs. So, we'll bring our machine back down here and I'll connect the turbo brush up. So, now with the turbo brush, it's best to use it 
not on automatic suction because the turbo brush creates a lot of back pressure in the unit. The back pressure is necessary to drive the turbine fast enough. So when we turn it on, if I just uh, bring the canister there, so you can see what the control panel is doing. Turn it on. So on automatic. tends to only speed the turbo brush round at moderate speeds. If I want it to go faster than that, I have to step the machine up to the inner setting. also do is uh, show you what happens when you uh, dock the floor head. Save having to turn it off here, which um, sure is very, very difficult to do, I must admit. <laughs> so you turn it back on again. You try to pause the machine. Basically, as soon as you dock it in there like that, the whole lot turns off completely. So that's useful if you're, uh, if you're just storing it for a while. If you've got to pop out and do something, then if you park it in there, compact that down, and that's stored nicely. When you come in to use it again, simply pull the rod, lift it out, press that button, and it's off again. So, use the accessories. Let's say we want the upholstery brush. On the end there. Minimum power. And step the power up slightly. And uh, you know that, that's how the small tools work. But essentially, this is, on the whole, a very, very good cleaner. Very good cleaner indeed. Uh, so now, to store it away, we can unplug. And again, the comfort rewind. Makes it nice and easy, just like so. That is one of the best features that Miele now put on their cylinder cleaners. Makes rewinding it such an effortless affair. It's more reliable than the old tug tug type, where you've got to pull it and pull it twice to get it to all go back in again. That is a sure and definite one touch on there. The whole lot goes in. It'll stand up, much like on the S6. Slot our floor head onto the side, retract the wand, nap the hose around like so, and that is how it's ready to be stored or carried. And again, very similar to the S6, the way you carry it round, it's a bit heavier than the S6, obviously being a bigger machine, but. Um, 
my car really don't. There's the cat. She's off out. Without her, I wouldn't have so much uh, dirt and mess on the carpets to clean up. Much as we love our pets. So there we go. The additional floor heads, as I say, are all available on the Mila website. So you can customise your machine with whichever floor head you want. Okay, the um, I've got so many floor heads there because I got one with each type of Mila machine I've had in the past. So because you can use the old type heads with the new type machines, they are totally interchangeable. Okay. So the best features I like about this machine which the other S8 models do not have is that handle control. That is a very useful thing to have. So you haven't got to keep returning back to the machine to change the power settings or to turn it on and off. Uh, it's, it's all done from the handle there. Now in America, where they have the uh, motorised head, like on the Revolution, that's the same there, but it has the lights, the status lights all the way down the handle, but it has no lights on the machine at all. This machine, as it stands, I will give 10 out of 10. It is a superb machine. Just like the S7, it's well built, very well engineered, easy to use, it's ergonomic, follows you around very easily. You can move it in any direction you want. You're uh, pushing it across the carpet. Um, filtration is fantastic, although you do pay a lot, lot of money for the filters, but it's worth it because the air emitted by these cleaners is uh, it's cleaner than the air that you have in the room. They are one of the best filtering machines you can buy. So with that, that's my quick review on the Miele S8. Like I say, this is the 8730, but uh, all the other models are the same. Basically, they just have little odd features that are different from that. Uh, but that is basically a Miele S8 model. Okay, uh, until the next time, I'll say goodbye.